Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to another esports boxing club update video. I do apologize, I wasn't around for the uh, fighter showcase which happened last week. I was taking a little break from streaming and doing YouTube videos, so I had a little little break there. But I saw what happened. It was great to see the uh, the female boxers announced. We're going to get into that a little bit in this video, but we're talking about the April update from Steel City that was posted to their social media. So let's look and see what they said and see what that means for uh, Esports Boxing Club. All right, so we have this uh, post to the Esports Boxing Club account. I'm sure it's probably on Steel City's accounts as well. Um, but it says, in trim, April update. Hello, fight fans. Alpha gameplay feedback. Uh, I should address that in my little reaction to the gameplay. I was positive on a, on a number of things, but I did say about the punches looking like they, they lack the sort of physicality uh, and stuff. I thought about it. I, I feel harsh saying that because I, we won't know until we get the game. Um, so I feel a little bit harsh saying that. But anyway, as a studio, we were delighted to see the incredible response from you all following the Alpha gameplay walkthrough. We decided to post the trailer without any cinematic or music, allowing early gameplay to be the focus. So that's something that I said in my um, reaction to the, the gameplay, was that I thought we would get a bit more. I didn't think we would just get that, you know, I thought we would get other little elements as well. So they are addressing that there, which is, is nice to see. We're really happy with the overall direction. Absolutely nothing we've shown is final. We continue to make improvements and updates. Cool. That's you know to be expected i guess roster dlc and rumors we are aware of certain assumptions and comments being made regarding the roster whilst our roster has not been finalized we can confirm that esbc will have the large ever licensed roster available which is something uh, that they have banged on about which you know they should uh, it's available for free within the game so I guess there's been rumours of like certain fighters being locked off for the you know in-game purchase. Well, it's good to see that they're addressing that now. Another large pool of fighters available on DLC. Right, so there are going to be some fighters that we will have to pay for, or is it going to be free DLC? It says free within the game, and another large pool of fighters available on DLC. Please note, neither the video game price or DLC pricing structure has been finalised and nothing has been officially confirmed in space. So, again, they're not really addressing it there. I just said nicely that they're addressing it, but actually they're not saying one way or the other. I guess the rumours have been. I've not actually seen the rumours myself, but I guess people are worried that some fighters are going to be locked off. Um, I hope not, because if they want this to really be something special and having every fighter in there for free is going to be amazing but we all know how the games market has transformed in the last decade with uh, pre-order bonuses characters locked off in fighting games and in other games um, if there is some way for us to to earn points sort of like I guess like uh, I've been playing Apex Legends a lot on Twitch and although the legends are locked off you can earn your points um, through the game to unlock the characters that could be something cool that they could maybe do if they, if they want to put a price on the fighters but also you can unlock them through in game you know it would be more of a grind to unlock them that way but those of us that don't have endless amounts of cash myself included grinding a game uh, to unlock someone is part of the fun well but we know that studios have to make money uh, and that's the way the game's market's gone I guess we'll see. I'm sure they'll announce more on that front as we go on. Uh, the fighter announcement show and feedback. We're incredibly pleased by the response from the community. I want to say as well, I really like the way they're doing these um, fighter announcement shows. The, the way the packages are put together, it's so professional looking, it's so cool. And then they have the footage of like Boxing Fanatico uh, and other YouTubers in there like re doing their reactions they've used some of the reaction footage and that's really nice to see so they really are keeping it close to the community which is good uh, to see we're so grateful all the managers agents and everyone else involved in signing has been the biggest boxing stable on the planet albeit in a video game 
Uh, considering the complex nature of the sport itself is an incredible feat. Yeah, see, that's something that I've also thought about because the, the whole world of boxing is just set up on all these deals with different broadcasters and things. It must be really difficult. Uh, our mission from the beginning was to try and get through the politics that exist in the boxing world to so exactly what I just said and work with all parties. Whilst uh, all of us would like every major boxing star in the game, we need to let you know that this takes time. Having said that, we have successfully signed fighters from, let me turn the page, every major boxing organization in the world. Such is our dedication to bringing you as many fighters as possible whilst being mindful. We have to maintain quality standards within the development cycle. Future announcements slash shows. We have more announcements to come. Whilst the process of signing each boxer individually takes time, everyone involved is dedicated to doing their absolute best for the boxers and the game. There are some signing negotiations underway that we hope every boxing fan will enjoy our future episodes, dates to be confirmed. And then there's a little bit of development. We will be releasing our monthly development update later this month. That's interesting. We've actually got a little uh, extra update here. This is the interim update. So going back to what I was saying about the, the fighter show, obviously they announced a bunch of female uh, boxers, uh, a bunch more male boxers, and some crossover stars. I think there was a, some MMA people announced uh, kickboxing, things like that, and I think that's cool. Obviously they've got, um, we, we've got we're getting a lot of um, exhibition matches being announced like with the YouTube boxers and that. I'd be interested to see if one of the YouTube boxers ends up in this game. I would be very interested to see if that happens because on the one hand you'll have people saying they're not a real boxer, they shouldn't be in. On the other hand, you know, if they got Logan Paul or Jake Paul in the game, that's going to bring a lot of eyes onto the game from the YouTube audience, so that'll be interesting to see. Obviously, they've already got Eddie Hall in there as well, who's not an actual boxer, so yeah, I wonder if they will go down that route. So just a, a short video there, just to do some more stuff on this game. We've been covering it a lot here on Welcome to Gaming. I was disappointed to miss out on doing a video on the, uh, the fighter announcement show. I kind of felt, since it's been like a week, I couldn't really do like a full episode, a full video on that. And I thought I'd just try and tie it into this little April interim update that we got. Uh, and you got to hear some of my thoughts on what we've seen. But I want to know what your thoughts are on this little update and on the fighter announcement show. Let me know in the comments below. As I said, I kind of feel a little bit harsh criticising the, the, the punches. I mean, they did look better in, in the gameplay. Uh, they did look better than before. That was something. And I liked mostly everything else that we saw in the alpha gameplay footage. And the movement and everything like well which i said in the video so you can go back and watch that but that is it for this video let me know what you think uh, we're heading towards an early access i think they did say the summer so we're a couple of months out now can't wait really excited catch you in the next one guys